Kabal ISIS, the Islamic militant group that's in Syria and uh, nearly taking over Iraq. After doing some investigation the other day into ISIS, it's very, very clear to me that ISIS is a cancer on in the Middle East. That ISIS will take Iraq and ISIS will take Syria. They'll then move on to places like Turkey. They'll have an inroad in Afghanistan and they'll then begin to destabilize Pakistan and they will create a caliphate there is no two ways about it they will do it it's probably the greatest threat in western in the western history or in the history of the world since the second world war if ISIS are not checked there will be a third world war they will create a caliphate, they will take over Syria, they will take over Iraq and basically West, the western powers have been caught sleeping they've been caught napping and they've let this cancer grow and it's too late once they've taken over Syria and Iraq they will then go for Turkey they then move into Jordan they'll also begin to destabilize Kuwait Arabia uh, Qatar they'll destabilize Pakistan and within the next five to six years we're going to see a massive blanket over the Middle East of the black flag if anybody doubts what I'm saying the income of uh, per year of ISIS is two billion pounds to put in the hands of terrorists an income of two billion pounds a year is asking for trouble the fact that the western powers have not dealt with this shows you how weak what the west is both militarily and intellectually and politically once they take control over vast parts of the Middle East with their vast oil revenues and all the money that they're making from all, all various activities they're controlling water supplies uh, electricity supplies and charging uh, countries for this once they do that they'll then start to turn their eyes on not only Africa which they're already doing but they turn their eyes on China, Russia and America and Europe and you'll begin to see military uprising on the streets of America on the streets of the UK and on the streets of Europe on the streets of Russia, on the streets of China once they get a, a strong foothold in the Middle East and there'll be a third world war So China, Russia and America need to unite now and need to make a concerted effort to stamp out ISIS. If you don't do that now, then the, great th the grapes of wrath will come. You can't allow terrorists to have a two billion income a year. that the intellectual, moral and political leaders have allowed this to happen shows you that we don't have any Winston Churchills today we don't have any people of stature in the political world who have a clue what to do it shows you that politically we are very very weak as a people in the West because such a thing would not have happened in the days of Thatcher or the days of Churchill or the days of Roosevelt it would not have happened that a military power could arise and take vast waves of countries and have a two billion income to raise arms and is also supported by oil magnets in the Far East as well 
would not have happened in another age but because there's a vacuum of leadership within the West it took place America needs to get rid of Obama in the next election and you need to get someone who's right wing who's willing to take up military action against ISA the UK needs to get rid of Cameron and put someone in who's willing to take military action against ISA Putin needs to drop his silly crusade to try and build up Russia and join forces with America and China needs to join forces with America and together they need uh, an international and concerted, concerted effort to stamp out ISIS and any of these extreme jihadist groups that are willing to wage war unless there's a concerted effort to do it you're looking at a third world war you're looking at four great military powers America Russia China and ISIS but the problem is when ISIS become powerful it's going to draw Israel into a war with them and when Israel gets involved then it's going to end up in a kind of third world war because all the Muslim countries are back ISIS I don't know whether I'm saying what I'm saying is true or not but that's what I can see happening if ISIS take Iraq and Syria then everything that I'm saying will come true if they don't take Iraq and are stamped out soon then a crisis will be averted but believe you me the grapes of wrath are coming until if we think that the war in Syria and Iraq and Gaza and um, Afghanistan and Gaza and Israel between Gaza and Israel if we think that these things are horrendous and bad just wait till ISIS to take over Iraq and Syria you're going to see a apocalyptic you're going to see things on an ap 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 apocalyptic scale that we've never seen before so unless the West and the East unite and show some leadership then the world in the next five years is going to see horrendous suffering these people ISIS need to be stamped out and they need to be stopped they need to be stopped now they need to be stopped with the most hardest military action that has happened in the last 50 years they need to be stamped out and they need to be stopped now and if they're not stopped now they're going to go on and they've got the momentum they're going to take Syria they're going to take Iraq then they'll take Turkey then they'll take Jordan and then they'll take Saudi Arabia they will take Qatar they will take Kuwait and you're going to have massive problems we're going to have shortages of oil we're going to have all sorts of humanitarian problems we're going to see an exodus of people from the Middle East to the West of refugees like we've, if you think it's bad now just wait and see in the next five ten years the West and the East need to take some leadership and they need to do military action as a concerted effort this problem is too big for NATO and it's too big for Russia it's too big for China and it's too big for America but together if you join together you'll stamp them out but if you don't join together you, Iraq's going to fall Syria's going to fall Turkey will fall Jordan will fall Arabia will fall Qatar will fall Kuwait will fall Afghanistan will fall. Afghanistan's a foregone conclusion. Pakistan will fall. Once they get all the nuclear weapons, uh, we're going to see real, real games going on. So, basically, you got to send an international force to help Syria and Iraq, and it has to be international and you need to stamp them out this year but within the next year you need to stamp them out 
and then have a reaction force that will go to anywhere in the world to Africa wherever and stamp them out again you need to cut their supply of oil you need to cut their finances you need to bring you need to bring it to them to allow this pe these these people ISIS to allow them to have a two billion income to have tens of thousands of terrorists an income of two billion pounds is sheer madness and so we're going to see the grapes of wrath